Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel again. General Technology Knowledge. Today let's go to uh, part 2 of uh, Provisi Machine Edition for read data from uh, Schneider Power Meter model uh, PM5350. Okay. In the previous video, we already learned about how to configure the hardware configuration of PLCGE and uh, connecting the cable from power meter to the serial port. Okay, and uh, already uh, config and test uh, phase A and for uh, power meter to show on software privacy machine edition. Yes. So today we will continue to uh, part two. Yes. For how to connection and how to configuration the hardware, uh, we already learned in the previous video. So in this section, we uh, not discuss anymore. So let's go to uh, write the program for show or read the voltage from BN, CN, and also uh, frequency. Okay. So let's go. So uh, this is a previous uh, video or previous project that we already learned and read the phase A N from the power meter to show uh, on our software. Yes. So uh, the project is will start from person AI one to uh, person AI ten, right? Let me show the hardware that we already configured. Yes, here it will start from uh, AI1 to uh, AI10 and here is the address of power meter that uh, I already show on Excel file, yeah, this one. So we need to use this address and this address. For uh, this address, I'm not yet connect the cable to the power meter. So uh, it will show zero. Yeah, let's see. Here, no data, right? Because I'm not yet connect the cable. Yes. So uh, we will uh, read the data from uh, this uh, phase uh, B N, right? Yes. So uh, to read, let's go to the main program, and then uh, we can write command a little bit. Yes. This is Paul Common. Read wall. Take A N from. It means that face A N. Yes. Face A N natural power meter. Yes. Okay. And then we can copy. Yes. Yeah. Actually, we can copy this one. Yes. And paste. And this is a BN, right? Face B and natural. Yes. And for face B, it will start from uh, AI3. Yes. AI3 to uh, AI4, right? words yes so I will start from uh, person AI3 and person AI4 yes and uh, this is the same yes and here is the uh, wall AN but uh, we must change to uh, wall BN right so uh, let's change this one to B, yes, B N, yes, and we also read data from the C N also, right? For C and natural, yes. So we can copy and paste. So C N, yes, and C N it will start from version A I, right? This one, A I five to A I six, yes. 
so I will start from person AI5 and AI6 yes and I will change this one to uh, CN yes and for uh, L and L average we also uh, can write the program but uh, will not show the data because uh, I'm not yet connected cap ball okay so we can write uh, L L and L yes okay so uh, copy and paste so this one it means that uh, line to line yeah L to L yes and it will start from person AI7 right and earn AI H and this one should be uh, LL yes world LL yes and the last one it should be uh, right should be a uh, L and N, right? Yes. Line and uh, natural, yes. So we can uh, comment line and natural, and it will start from uh, version AI9, yes, until version AI10, right? Okay. And uh, we will change this one to be uh, wall. LN yes okay so we can uh, save the project and then download yes download the program to the PLC and let's see the status okay okay right now uh, let's see phase A and N B N C N and also uh, LN uh, show the value yes and I will show on the power meter also yes the same or not yes Okay, let's see here. It's uh, the same, yeah. Between uh, AN, BN, and CN, yes. And uh, average the wall between the uh, L and N, okay. The same as uh, in the PLC show, yes. Here, let's see, it's the same, okay. So it means that we can uh, read data from the power meter, yeah. So in the first step, we need to uh, read the frequency, right? Yes. We read frequency also, this one, yes. We will read this one to uh, PLC also, yes. Yes. So uh, to read the frequency, we need to uh, configure the address, yes, of uh, power meter also, yes. Okay, so for a uh, voltage, we already uh, read, yeah, we can read and uh, the voltage between uh, power meter show and the PLC is the same, okay. So right now we will uh, read the frequency, yes, okay, I will offline first. To uh, read the frequency, let's go to config on here. Actually, uh, we have uh, like this, yeah. And then we go to hardware, and then uh, go to uh, double click on CMM002, yes. And then go to part one that we already uh, config, yes. But we must know the address of the power meter first, which address that uh, we will config for a frequency, right? So uh, let's go to check the frequency mostly I already we can also search free when 
frequency yes okay here uh, the uh, mark yes so uh, frequency it will start from uh, address 3110 okay 02 sorry uh, 42 to uh, 70 x yeah and uh, the data is the same so we need uh, two words so the address we must remember and go to uh, configuration yes and then uh, data I change number two I will enable to uh, read continue yes and then this one I will uh, use the holding register also and here is the address that we will uh, put from a uh, power meter right so it will start from 3110 right make sure the address is correct yes 3110 yes okay correct and I will use only two length yes because uh, we use only a power meter yeah and I will start from option uh, AI 11 yeah because uh, 1 to 10 we already use and we will continue from uh, person AI 11 and the length is two word yes okay so that's all we can uh, connect and then uh, we will stop CPU yeah because uh, we need to download hardware configuration in this step if uh, everyone uh, make sure that we know all the address and we must uh, think before uh, uh, we put and we can uh, download only only one time and we can uh, post the project it means that we can earn the project okay if we uh, remark the address it means that we uh, calculate the address before we uh, write the program so we can stop only one time to download and we can uh, cover all project right all their time okay so uh, it's just uh, example so I can stop but in the actual process, we cannot stop the CPU any uh, many many times because process is running. So uh, we must be careful on uh, this point also. Yes. So right now I just uh, demo or I just uh, example so I can stop the CPU because my process is not running. Okay. So I can stop and then download. Yes. In this step, if we uh, not stop the CPU, we uh, cannot download because we uh, change the hardware configuration. Yes. So I download the hardware configuration to the PLC. Yes. And then I will run the CPU again. Yes. And let's check uh, person AI 11, right? So uh, person AI 11. Let's check to make sure person AI uh, 11 have uh, data or not. Yes. So uh, right now it has uh, data. Yes. Let's see. It's so likely it means that we uh, put the correct address. Yeah. I mean that uh, it this address. Yeah. We put uh, correct. So if I uh, put any address, uh, it means that uh, not here. We cannot uh, see the data. Yes so make sure the address is correct yes okay and if we have another power meter we need to have this data also otherwise we cannot uh, do or we cannot read the data because we don't know the address which one is wall which one is uh, frequency okay so we must have this address okay So uh, I will convert this one to the real value also, yes, because right now it show like this, but we uh, don't want like this. We must uh, show yeah, the same as the wall, yes. So uh, to create the logic, we can uh, also copy, yes, this one, okay. 
this one should be a uh, read frequency from power meter right okay so I will uh, create one more words yes that are uh, variables yes okay so go to uh, variables and then uh, right click and create the new variable and I will choose word example uh, frequency yeah frequency uh, show yeah example frequency show so this one it will start from AI 11 right this one yes AI 11 so here we can uh, write from uh, person AI 11 and this one I will use this uh, variables right so I can write uh, free when she show in bird number one yes frequency show yes property sorry this one should be a uh, two words yeah. okay we will put uh, this one to uh, two words yeah okay yes two words and uh, I can put this one yes, to uh, variable yeah, frequency show yes. so uh, frequency show and word number one yes. like this and it will earn from uh, person AI Twelve, right? So person A I twelve. Okay. And uh, this one should be uh, word zero, right? So I will change this one to uh, zero. Okay. And this one I will use the variable, yeah, free frequency show. And this one should be a uh, frequency, right? frequency line yes okay so uh, we will uh, download yes so validate to check it has error or not yes okay no error it means that we can uh, download yes so uh, connect and then download in this step we uh, no need to uh, stop the CPU because uh, we download only logic so uh, no need to stop yeah so download only logic yes okay so that's good right now it show uh, 50 yeah around 50 something hertz yeah and i will show on the power meter also yes it uh, the same or not i think it is uh, the same because uh, we already read the data So uh, right now it's so around uh, 49.69 hertz. Yeah. So it uh, correct to be a uh, PLC. Yes. Let's see. It's the same. Yes. So this is just instruction how to uh, read the data from power meter to show on uh, Proficy Machine Edition. And in the next uh, video I will show how to uh, link this one to show on the HMI by using Proficy Simplicity HMI yes and I will uh, show how to create the blocks yeah, to be uh, like this yeah. we can uh, use the block create only one block because it is the same format right so no need to uh, create like this we can uh, use the block just drag and drop the block and then uh, we can link 
to the page of I. Okay. So in this video, uh, I will I would like to show uh, like this, and I hope it uh, clearly and it uh, useful for everyone that want to uh, read the data from power meter. Yeah. If uh, we have another brand of power meter, we must have the data. Okay, please remember. If we know this data, we uh, cannot read because we don't know the address. Okay, and also uh, manual operation: how to change the address of a power meter, how to uh, change the bar rate, or how to change the some event. Yes. So, uh, or uh, connect the uh, wiring connection, yeah. So, we might have this, okay. So, thank you very much for watching my video. And if everyone have any question, please drop comment under my video. I will reply soon. And I would like to say sorry if I have a mistake in the uh, video. And... I would like to request all of you to like, share, and subscribe my channel also to get more notifications and more new videos that I will create step by step. So in this time, I would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos. Bye-bye.